Hello everyone, this is Dr. Nikita here, your mentor and friend. So today I'm here to post this very short video on the amazing cheat codes to remember the immunohistochemistry markers in the various types of lung cancer. So the purpose of posting this video is because this was asked as a doubt by one of the members on a telegram group, Dr. Nikita's Rat Synapse. Before I proceed with this video, I hope that you are not missing out on the extremely high yield discussions and the daily quizzes that we have on a telegram group, the link of which is given here. So this is the list of the various markers that we have in the lung cancers. So first I'll tell you the cheat codes to remember these and then we will come back to the list to revise. So the various types of the markers that we need to remember in the cancers, in the lung cancer, we have the squamous cell carcinoma, we have the small cell carcinoma and we have the adenocarcinoma. So squamous cell carcinoma, we know that it's generally a central carcinoma. It arises from the epithelium, the bronchial epithelium, the, the central ones. So we know that in such tumors which comes from the epithelium, the marker is cytokeratin. That is why in squamous cell carcinoma, we will see cytokeratin. Now, the other marker in squamous cell carcinoma is your P40 and P63. So, to remember this, remember that squamous cell carcinoma comes in generally in the older age groups. So, 40 and 63, like 40 years and 63 years, this is when you see the squamous cell carcinoma. So, that helps you to remember the markers for squamous cell carcinoma. Next, that we would be seeing is for the small cell carcinoma. So, we know that small cell carcinoma comes under the subset of neuroendocrine tumors. So, that was why it will have the neuronal markers like neuron-specific enolase. It will have synaptophysin. Again, synapse that is neuron-related. So, synaptophysin. It will have chromogranin. Chromogranin. Again, related to the neurons, the ganglia, something like that. That is why chromogranin. So, the neuroendocrine tumors give these markers which are positive. So, very easy to remember. The other thing to be remembered that you have MYC gene, MYC gene, MYC gene, right? We have CMYC, we have NMYC, we have LMYC. Now, as the term says, LMYC is positive in lung cancer. So, which lung cancer squamous, small or adeno? So, it is positive in small cells. So, remember small has double L. So, that will show LMIC positive. So, remember it's the small cell carcinoma which is LMIC positive. CMIC is in Burkitt's lymphoma. NMIC, N for neuroblastoma. And C goes with B alphabetically. So, CMIC is Burkitt's lymphoma. We know the chromosome for CMIC is chromosome Eight. That is why in Burkitt's lymphoma, we see translocations involving chromosome 8. Now, the next one that we would be seeing is for adenocarcinoma. So, adenocarcinoma basically, you know, adeno means glands, right? So, it has a marker which is related to gland which is thyroid transcription factor 1. That is TTF1. So, easy to remember, thyroid is a gland, gland is adenocarcinoma, so it is TTF1 positive. Next marker is napsin A. Napsin A. So again remember A, remember it as A for adenocarcinoma. A for adenocarcinoma. Okay, napsin A is positive in adenocarcinoma. So these are all the cheat codes to remember the immunohistochemistry. So let us revise the quick list that we have posted here. So we have in squamous cell carcinoma, we have cytokeratin epithelial tumor p40 and 63 is the age at which it is positive and then we have small cell carcinoma small is neuroendocrine so neuron specific enolase synaptophysin and chromogranin adeno is gland so thyroid transcription factor and napsin a also remember that when you have thyroid transcription factor positive so it helps us to differentiate primary lung adenocarcinoma from the metastatic adenocarcinoma in the lung. So when it is primary, it is TTF positive. It is TTF positive. Okay. So that helps to differentiate primary from the meds in the lung.
So I hope these cheat codes help you to remember the various immunohistochemistry markers. If there is any other difficult list or table that you want to know the cheat codes, the easy ways to remember, which definitely help you to score more in the exam, do let me know in the comments. And also you can drop a message on a telegram group, Dr. Nikita's Rad Synapse. So that's all for today. Goodbye. Take care. Keep studying. Keep revising and keep winning. I'll see you in my next video.